<laughs> All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Eddie Garcia. Eddie, a lot to get to. A lot to get to, Ryan. You know, it's one of those days where you see uh, sort of the rain on the horizon. This is from the Albuquerque perspective. And sometimes you might think, oh, that's going to miss us, right? And then you smell it. And then you smell it, right? So if you are smelling the rain in your area, then technically we have smell vision going on here because right now you can tell that it's been raining in the studio. It certainly smells very nice. But uh, let me show you the day in review where we continue to see those afternoon showers popping up. We have decent lift over the mountains and that has been really promoting the growth of those clouds. Also some rain which moved in from the south that did drop a lot of precipitation in the South Valley and also getting reports at the Sunport uh, may be approaching more than three quarters of an inch in about 15 to 20 minutes. So you can see that that rain continues to move a little bit toward the north, but uh, certainly a, uh, a misty picture out there where the the, the mountains have temporarily disappeared 67 degrees. You can see the humidity is up and we're going to continue to see some pretty decent rain chances for the rest of the evening. I think it's going to start to wrap up once we get to about uh, 10 o'clock toward midnight, but certainly more rain than we have seen in quite a while. And that story continues within central New Mexico. Uh, still have a flood advisory in effect for the South Valley. So just watch out for those areas. If you're familiar with that area, what you know to, to sort of flood during storms like this. So that's in effect till 630. You can see that that rain is in a hurry moving up toward the North Valley, eventually Rio Rancho and the Bernalillo area. But out toward Northeast New Mexico, I'm watching the possibility of some severe weather. We do have the ingredients in place out there. So far, no severe thunderstorm warnings in the short term, but you can see some pretty strong storms developing from Tucumcari to Clovis and over the South Central Mountains. The Sacramento Mountains getting those isolated thunderstorms within that area. So more moisture in the atmosphere means more potential for storms, and we certainly are seeing that statewide. If you combine the clouds and the radar, then you can see that this is uh, kind of a monsoony looking day, even though it's way too early for that. So for tonight, I'm expecting those showers to sort of dissipate. Uh, the moisture is going to stay in place, which means we will be getting more rain in the afternoon. But this cold front moving in is going to mix things up in the atmosphere. It's going to combine with features already up there and in enhance our rain chance as well as the flood chance too in the North Mountains across uh, basically all of northern New Mexico. We will be seeing those cooler conditions by Friday, but also ample chance of flower uh, showers. I should say even into Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully flowers are going to be a result in your yard uh, from what's going on through the next few days. But as far as rain accumulation goes, still banking on that there may be a threat in the North Central Mountains each day that that ground becomes more saturated, we will be looking at the threat for burn scar flooding. Of course, we're going to let you know before that happens and every step along the way. 89 degrees tomorrow for Roswell, and then you start to really cool down into the weekend. Those temperatures only in the upper 70s and lower 80s uh, by Saturday and Sunday. The southwest for tomorrow, you're going to have to wait till the afternoon, but you're going to be getting a pretty good crop of storms, especially in higher elevations. I'm anticipating the northwest for tomorrow is going to be looking more productive than we've seen regarding rain, and we're talking about a 50% chance on Friday into Saturday across the North Mountains. I'm going to be watching for the potential of river flooding because of snowpack and also because of those burn scars. Certainly going to let you know if they're going to be any impacts in your area. The Northeast will be seeing numerous scattered storms into the East Mountains, where I think it's going to get going probably mid afternoon, and that takes us into the Albuquerque Metro, where the chances still remain well, at least stronger than we have seen recently. So for Rio Rancho, that means 20 to 30 for tomorrow, and we're going to be increasing those chances by the time we get into the end of the work week into the weekend. And you can see that even in the beginning of next week, we will hang on to these rain chances. So of course, I want to make sure that you are being weather aware when uh, thunder uh, roars head indoors.